How does a thermal power plant works? Let's take a overview of a thermal power plant. This part is called CHP, Coal Handling Plant. Coals are handled in this section. After that, from CHP, the coal are stored in bunker and then to mill to produce the coal dust. This is a boiler where the coal is burned. This is empty fan which is a force draft fan used to provide air in the boiler for combustion. Thus the water converted into steam and fit to the turbine and the turbine rotates the rest of the steam from the turbine is collected into the condenser where the steam is condensed by the cold water which is coming from the cooling tower As the turbine rotates, it also rotates the generator. As the generator rotates, it produces electricity. Now the flue gas and the ash after the combustion is sucked by the ID fan and is passes through the ESP and then it releases through the chimney. Now let's have a look at this section. Here coal is passing through the conveyor belt and then it is stored into the bunker. It is then feeded into the feeder. From the feeder the coal enters into the coal mill. So, the coal enters into the mill from the feeder. The roller is used to crush the coal into fine dust and the waste material goes into the MRS which is the mill rejection system by the separator. The mixed airflow that is the hot and cold air is entering into the mill for extraction of the moisture that is containing in the coal and finally the coal dust which is prepared it passes through the coal pipe and then it is feeded into the boiler for lighting up the boiler. This is a schematic diagram of a boiler. The air through the FD fan which is a force draft fan passes through the APH that is the air preheater and then to the boiler. This is also called the secondary air flow which supply air in the boiler for combustion. Next, the coal and air mix passes into the boiler for lighting up the boiler. The water comes from the derator 
to the boiler drum. It comes via economizer. When water passes through this economizer, it is preheated by the flue gas and then fed it to the drum. Then the water is heated in the furnace tube and superheated steam is generated. As the superheated steam is generated, this steam is used to run the turbine and it is fitted to the HPT that is the high pressure turbine. This diagram shows the steam and water flow. The main steam from the superheater is fitted to the HPT that is the high pressure turbine and from the HPT the steam is reheated again through the reheater and it is fitted to the IPT that is the intermediate pressure turbine from the IPT the rest of the steam it passes through the LPT it is the last stage of the turbine that is the low pressure turbine from LPT the steam is condensed in condenser through cold water tubes which is coming from the cooling tower as the heated steam comes in contact with the cold water pipes it becomes water and it is extracted by the CEP it is the condenser extraction pump and it is fitted to the LPH that is the low pressure heater and then to the director in the director there is a supply line for the main steam to heat the water for separating the dissolved oxygen from the water then the water is sucked by the BFP that is the boiler feed pump which supply the water to the boiler then it goes to the HPH and to the boiler drum through economizer this shows the flue gas system when the combustion take place in the boiler it generates ash and flue gas this flue gas is sucked by the ID fan which is induced draft fan and it passes through ear heater and then to the ESP which is the electrostatic precipitator here the dust particulate are collected and the rest ash are fitted into the wet scrubber through sprayer and goes to the slurry feed tank. The flue gas are exhausted by the chimney.